For this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to smoothly transition between decks using your DJ mixing skills. Load a track to deck A and make sure that all of the master settings between the decks are correct. The crossfader should be moved all the way to the left. This makes sure that your audience is only hearing deck A through the speakers to start with. The master volume controls the speaker volume that your audience is hearing and the headphone volume controls the volume that you are hearing from the other track. Make sure that autoplay and shuffle have been turned off. Press play on deck A and pick a track to load to deck B. You'll want to use a track that has a similar tempo as your track in deck A. The BPM column in your audio library gives you a quick visual of tracks that have similar tempos. You can listen to the track on deck B by clicking the headphone icon and then pressing the play button. Your audience will continue to hear deck A while you prepare deck B. You can use the pitch slider on deck B to adjust the tempo or press the sync button on deck B to match the tempo of the track on deck A. For the best transition, you'll want to start your next track on a downbeat and you'll want to select the point in the track where you want to begin. The easiest way to do this is to set a cue point. Play to the point in the track that you want to start, make sure the yellow play cursor is aligned with a downbeat, and click the set cue point button. Now that you are all set, use the crossfader to transition smoothly between decks. Move the crossfader to the middle and press the cue point play button on deck B so that both songs are playing simultaneously. If the deck alignment isn't sounding quite perfect, you can temporarily speed up or slow down the track using the arrow buttons next to the pitch slider. Finally, when you are ready, move the crossfader to the far right so that only deck B is heard. Now, start the whole process over again by finding your next track for deck A. For more Zulu tutorials, visit the address shown on your screen.